So we are doing one more case in which I'm going to add a strong acid into a weak base. So I'm going to do pH calculations for addition of different volumes of acid into a weak base. Some of the formulae which you will be needing for them are uh, given there. You're familiar with all of them. Just have a glance at all the formulae which is given over there. So we are doing a question in which I have 0 0.500 molar ammonia and I'm titrating it with 1 molar HCl. And the volume of ammonia I'm taking is 20 milliliter. I need to calculate the pH of the solution at different points of the titration, starting from 0 molar, 0 milliliter of HCl to 20 milliliter of HCl. And uh, before we start, write down the um, neutralization equation. Ammonia reacts with hydrochloric acid to give ammonium ions are Cl minus. Let's uh, go further and see how to calculate the pH at each stage. So, uh, the first thing we are going to do is when uh, 0 HCl is added and uh, at this case I have only ammonia present therefore the pH of the solution depends on the ionization of the base. So, write down the ionization of the base equation. Ammonia reacts with water to give you ammonia minus and OH minus. Set up the ice table and then use the KB equation because I have the concentration of hydroxide ion so the best way is to use the KB equation and KB is given and uh, substitute the value of hydroxide, the um, ammonium ion, the BH plus and the B, the base and then uh, get the value of X because the uh, value of K is uh, 10 to the power of negative 5. I can do the small k approximation. I get the value of X, that's the value of hydroxide ion concentration. So from that I can calculate the POH and that gives me the value of pH. Let's do the second part when I have added 5 ml of hydrochloric acid. So as I have added 5 ml hydrochloric acid, it will react with ammonia and therefore I need to calculate how much of uh, uh, ammonia is left over after the reaction with HCl. So in order to do so, let me first calculate the moles of hydrochloric acid and moles of ammonia. Once I have the moles, write down the neutralization reaction between ammonia and hydrochloric acid. I have the moles, set up the ice table and uh, all the HCl will get neutralized. Therefore, I have zero moles of ammonia HCl. So, when we have the moles, I can use the henderson hasselbach equation. So, I don't need to convert it into volume, concentration using the volume. Use the henderson hasselbach equation, substitute the corresponding values and get the pH which is equal to 9.3. So we will do to the, we will go to the uh, C part when I am adding 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. So this is the equivalence point. So all the base will be completely neutralized. Therefore the pH of the solution is determined by the salt ammonium chloride. So let's as usual start by calculating the moles of hydrochloric acid and moles of ammonia. And when you set up the ice table, you realize that uh, the ammonia gets totally neutralized by hydrochloric acid. I will be left with the ammonium ions NH4 plus and uh, the moles of NH4 plus are then converted into concentration by dividing using the volume. So after I get the concentration of ammonium ions, I write down the, and this is the one which is going to determine the pH of my solution. Write down the reaction of ammonium ion with water and it is giving me the hydronium ion and uh, set up the ice table and uh, use the ionization equation and you can see that I have used the value of Ka because this reaction is giving me H3O plus so I should use the Ka value and substitute everything and use the small k approximation and get the value of pH. So now the D part, I am adding 20 milliliter of hydrochloric acid. So we are past the equivalence point, therefore the excess hydrochloric acid will determine the pH. So as usual, calculate the moles of hydrochloric acid and moles of ammonia. And since you know that they have completely reacted, so when you set up the ice table for the ammonia HCl equation, you will uh, uh, see that after ammonia reacting completely, I am left with 0.010. Um, moles of HCl and the sum of ammonium ions is also there. So convert the moles of HCl using the volume of solution to concentration of HCl 
and uh, pH of the solution is going to depend only on the hydrogen ion concentration from uh, HCl which is equal to the concentration I am getting for HCl and uh, I get the pH based on the concentration of hydrogen ion from HCl and as usual uh, as before the contribution from the reaction of ammonium ions from water will be negligible so it's not be added into the hydrogen ion concentration. Let's do uh, a summary of whatever you have learned so far. So what were you doing? We were doing a weak base and a strong acid titration and I was adding a base little by little into the acid. So the first case was when I did not have any acid. So uh, I had only the base and uh, so use the concentration of the base and the Kb value uh, because the ionization of the base is going to determine the pH Cal uh, using the Kb value get the value of pH. The second case was then I add some acid into it therefore this acid will react with the base therefore the leftover base after the neutralization by the acid will give me the pH therefore I need to calculate the moles of the base and the moles of the uh, salt of the base or the uh, base if it was ammonia NH3 and NH4 plus and use the henderson hesselbach equation. And the third is the equivalence point where the acid and base have neutralized for the hydrolysis of the salt is going to determine the pH. Therefore, get the concentration of the salt and use the Ka value to calculate the pH. The fourth case is we have passed the equivalence point. Therefore, it is the excess of the acid which is, determ which is remaining uh, will determine the pH and uh, it's a strong acid hence uh, get the ionization of the acid and use that will be the concentration of the hydrogen ion use the pH equation to calculate the pH